also like to acknowledge the team that came out and built this project. It's the first of its kind in our area. John, by the way, come up here real quick. John led this project, and um, we do a lot of very uh, traditional type projects on acres and acres of land. This one is one that I hope that we'll get to do many more of, and I encourage everybody to consider this as an option as you consider sustainable agriculture and sustainable energy. Uh, looks about right on. This is a 92.8 kilowatt uh, system in total. It is 288 sun power, 320 watt modules. Uh, it is the single most efficient solar module that's available today. We're able to double crop, harvest the, the solar resource, uh, use the sh benefit of the shade underneath the solar canopy to improve the production of cool weather crops. Pollen needs to be below 90 degrees for a protracted period of time during the day in order to remain fertile. One of the problems in North Carolina agriculture right now is that uh, we've last two summers in a row We've seen you know, great big bushy eggplants, no fruit. Great big uh, bushy tomato plants, no fruit. So these plants are sinking a lot of carbon. There's a lot more carbon in the atmosphere, but uh, they're not able to pollinate because of uh, dead pollen. So the notion that we can add some shade to our growing and therefore increase yields is tied into the whole concept of sol solar double crop. And we feel that there are certain plants, things like lettuces and arugulas, that North Carolina is not gonna be growing commercially 10 years from now as our agricultural zone changes and um, we think that solar double cropping will you know, leave us in the lettuce business long after the lettuce industry has uh, moved north. There are other solar greenhouses where you know, the glass is, uh, it's got a solar component to it but it's a more traditional greenhouse approach versus uh, this concept which I do believe is unique. I am Michael Tiemann, this is my wife Amy Tiemann and daughter Miranda, and our participation in this endeavor is as Miraverse Power and Light. And so uh, we help finance the panels appearing up here. Financially as well as environmentally, this is a sound business decision. So this is this is not just rampant idealism in Chatham County. This is uh, this is actually practical, and and we want to share with the world that practicality because we need practical solutions right now. This array will produce about 25 percent of all the electricity that gets used here in the park. And that's by all of the tenants, and um, it's a logical step. You know, you, you get into local fuel. It's a, it's a logical progression to end up in local food. It's a logical progression to end up in uh, making energy from the sun. We need it.